The latest evolution in mobile operating systems that promises to redefine user experience and functionality. In this video, we delve into the cutting edge features and enhancements that Android 15 Beta brings to the table, offering a sneak peek into the future of mobile technology. From intuitive UI tweaks to robust security upgrades, Android 15 Beta aims to empower users with seamless navigation, enhanced privacy controls, and a host of innovative tools designed to streamline daily tasks. Join us as we explore the exciting possibilities of Android 15 Beta and discover how it's set to revolutionize the way we interact with our devices. Welcome back everyone, my name is Francisco and here's a warm welcome to the Wondershare Doctor Phone channel. Today we're going to talk about the most important features that came with the Android 15 Beta and its most recent update to the version 2.2 edition and we will talk about how to move over your data from your iPhone to your Android device if you're looking to switch. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. Part 1. Every feature that we got with the Android 15 Beta. Now let's go ahead and begin with a comprehensive list and brief explanation of each feature. And while there are lots of them in this version of Android, we will go over the most important ones first in this list to the ones that are maybe a little less exciting to me at least. More efficient multitasking. Android 15 is set to enhance multitasking on tablets and large screen displays by allowing users to permanently pin the taskbar to the screen, creating a more desktop-like environment. Additionally, users will have the ability to save split-screen app combinations such as Gmail and YouTube for later use. These paired apps can also be pinned to the taskbar for quick access. Private space. In Android 15, a secure area referred to as a private space is being introduced on your device. This feature allows you to securely lock away your most sensitive apps and their associated data. While Samsung users may already be familiar with a similar feature called Secure Folder, Android 15 will now include this functionality for all users, seamlessly integrated into the operating system. This functionality operates by establishing a distinct section within the app drawer, requiring additional verification such as a passcode or fingerprint scan for access, and within this section, users can install any desired apps, including separate instances of camera, Google Photos, and Google Chrome. This enables users to store photos, videos, and conduct web browsing activities with heightened privacy, ensuring that sensitive content remains inaccessible to unauthorized individuals. Predictive Back. This feature, albeit peculiarly named, if I'm honest, offers users a rapid preview of their destination when utilizing the universal back gesture, a swipe inward from the screen's edge, for example. Consequently, users can preview the website they recently visited or glimpse their home screen, ensuring that they have a clear understanding of their navigation before finalizing the gesture. Partial screen recording. A fresh addition to Android 15 is the capability to record specific sections of the screen instead of just capturing the entire display. This feature proves useful when creating tutorials, troubleshooting issues, or recording the screen for various purposes. It's integrated into Android's native screen recording tool and can also be implemented by developers into their own applications. Brand new volume slider. While it may not be the most significant alteration or anything like that, it's one that will catch your eye frequently. The expanded panel that emerges when tapping the three dots at the base of the volume slider now occupies more screen space. This adjustment facilitates easier volume adjustments for media, along arms and calls. Additionally, you can conveniently manage connected Bluetooth devices directly from the screen. Satellite messaging. There are indications that Android phones could soon adopt satellite messaging capabilities akin to those found on iPhones. The likelihood stems from Android 15's official plans to expand platform support for satellite connectivity in terms of software features. However, actual implementation will necessitate hardware integration and likely require collaboration with a satellite network partner or something of the like. Widget previews. Widgets are a familiar feature in Android, but typically when adding new ones to the home screen, users encounter generic representations of their appearance. With Android 15, developers have the option to incorporate rich previews for widgets. For instance, adding a contact widget allows users to preview its appearance using one of their actual contacts. Custom vibrations. Here's something for those who often keep their phones on silent. 
Previously, Android apps could establish their own custom vibrations, but with Android 15, users will gain the ability to customize these vibrations for specific notification channels. This means you can assign a particular vibration pattern for emails and another for text messages, providing personalized alerts tailored to your preferences. Protection from theft. Google is introducing several new features to Android aimed at deterring theft. For instance, Theft Detection Lock utilizes AI to recognize if your phone is swiftly snatched, automatically activating the lock screen. This auto lock function will also engage if your device is offline for an extended period or if numerous unsuccessful authentication attempts occur. Moreover, remotely locking your device will become more accessible. While all these features will roll out to devices running Android 10 or later throughout the year, one exclusive to Android 15 stands out, preventing device resets, a common tactic employed by thieves without access to your Google account credentials. This ensures only you have the capability to reset the device Device. More features. Android updates consistently incorporate a plethora of adjustments and subtle enhancements that may not command significant attention but are nonetheless appreciated. In the case of Android 15, these enhancements encompass more efficient video processing, enhanced management of foreground apps, basically enhancing battery life, security measures to prevent malicious apps from seizing tasks initiated by reputable apps, and expanded capabilities for Health Connect to gather data from a wider array of apps over extended periods. All these features are pretty exciting and I'm looking forward to seeing them. Part 2. How to transfer from iPhone to Android. Now we are going to talk about how those of you who are considering switching over to Android from your iPhone can do that very easily. No doubt that many of these features are really cool and very interesting, which has likely prompted many of you into switching over. It's always been a beautiful world on the Android side. So let's go ahead and talk about how you can transfer your data from your iPhone to your new Android phone. OneSure Doctor Phone is a fantastic piece of software that addresses many of your mobile needs. Through this software, you can recover deleted data from your mobile device, unlock your phone if you forgot your screen, lock, back up and restore data from your mobile device, and for the purposes of this video, easily and quickly transfer data between devices. This software is also fully compatible with Mac and Windows and works with both Android phones and iPhones alike. Now let's go ahead and talk about the steps to transferring this data between devices so that you can upgrade to Android right away without missing a beat. Visit the official Wondershare Doctor Phone website and download the Doctor Phone software. Just click on the link in the description to begin downloading the software. Install it on your computer by following the on-screen instructions. Once installed, launch Wondershare Doctor Phone and then select the Toolbox tab from the left side panel to access the main interface. Plug in both phones onto your computer using compatible USB cable. In Doctor Phone, navigate to the phone transfer feature. This option allows you to transfer data between phones. Now go to the transfer interface. Make sure your iPhone is selected as a source device and your Android phone as a destination device. You can click on the flip button to switch their positions if needed. Doctor Phone will display various types of data that can be transferred. Just go ahead and select the types of data that you want to transfer from your iPhone to your Android phone. This may include contacts, messages, photos, videos, music, and more. Once you've chosen the data types to transfer, click on the Start Transfer button to begin the transfer process. Dr. Phone will start transferring the selected data from your iPhone to your Android phone. The transfer process may take some time, depending on the amount of data being transferred, of course. After the transfer is finally complete, you can safely disconnect both phones from your computer, Check your Android phone to ensure that the transfer data is actually successfully available on your device. Once the transfer is complete, you can disconnect both phones from your computer. Your data should now be successfully transferred from your iPhone to your Android phone successfully. And there you have it. Hopefully you know everything that you need to know about Android 15 beta before jumping in. If we missed any crucial pieces of data or information from our list, then please make sure to let us know in the comments. Also, leave us a like if you think that we did a good job. Subscribe to our channel for more content just like this, and ring the notification bell so that you never miss a beat. Until next time, have a great day.